It is a buzzworthy term in medicine right now. You've heard people talk about gut health as more research is identifying diseases that are linked to your gut. If you are staying hydrated and eating enough fiber, your digestive tract is functioning properly. But I spoke with a Houston dietitian at Advice for Eating who says most people are not getting enough. Here's a look at how much dietary fiber is found in some common foods. It helps keep you full and can prevent illnesses like heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. And then it's also good for your gut health, which is something that we want. We want to minimize any kind of chronic disease associated with a low fiber diet, um, things like colon cancer. Here are some surprisingly tasty ways you can add fiber to any meal. Add berries. One cup of raspberries has eight grams of fiber, almost twice what's in an apple. Add them to oatmeal, salads, or snack on them with popcorn or whole grain toast for an extra five grams of fiber. Chia seeds are so small you can throw them in just about anything for a big punch of fiber to any meal. One cup equals 10 grams. And one cup of black beans carries 15 grams of fiber. Eat them with brown rice and get nearly 19 grams total. And while leafy greens get all the credit for having a lot of fiber, one cup of boiled peas has nine grams. That's more than broccoli or Brussels sprouts. A lot of the time clients will say, well, I don't like this or I don't like, you know, broccoli or I don't like, you know, whatever the veggie, any veggie is going to be good. And they're all going to give you um, at least some fiber, some a little bit more than others, um, but add in what you like. I think that's the trick. Now, women should try to eat at least 21 to 25 grams of fiber a day, while men should aim for 30 to 38. On ClickToHouston.com right now in the health section, we have a quiz that you can take to see if your body is giving you signals that it needs more fiber. Signals that you wouldn't have thought of, Owen. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to think of the ones there I'm thinking about. There are health diseases that you might have that could be linked to a low-fiber uh, diet. Yeah, get that spinach, whatever you can do. Whatever you can yeah. do. All right. Yeah.